Hello everyone. I know it's like really long day and it's hot and all of you might be thinking like, okay, what else here? So I'm not going to take this long. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, most of you already know about this thing. Uh, I see people like almost like about to sleep off some of you. So projects in the room, just say hi. One, two, three, four. So, so we had, I think we should have done this in the morning. There were more projects, but, but yeah. Uh, and I see a lot of our colleagues here. I'm quickly going to talk about this program. Before that, this is Shashi. Uh, little bit about my background. Uh, I was one of the few people to start first protocol owned accelerator back in the days uh, when people were thinking like, okay, there are certain firms who can do accelerator and not blockchains. Uh, here at ICP Definity Foundation, I've been instrumental in designing this program called ICP Hubs together with the team. And this program, if you saw the funnel in the morning, is the last end of this funnel, where the adoption funnel that we talk about, where you have reached a point in your decentralized ecosystem growth where you're suddenly having a lot of projects and a lot of investors who are interested in this because they see the value in your tech, and what do you do? And, and, and by the way, the, the, sto the story that I'm trying to tell you here is not only for ICP, but there's a challenge that the entire industry faces in terms of like, how does you drive innovation at a pace which is driving the industry forward? So this platform is eventually going to be a chain agnostic platform. It's not an accelerator, it's an acceleration platform. That's what we call it. So it's, you can say, like, mother of all accelerators, if you want to put it that way. So let's quickly see what this is. Yeah. So we can say it's a first on-chain platform, which, which really wants to, while the blockchain industry is democratizing a lot of things, this platform is democratizing blockchain innovation with their stakeholders. Because right now it's like, okay, I know Jan, so, so then I can go and ask him for some support. But what if Emil doesn't know Jan, and, and what, the, what, what happens then, right? So, so, so this is the platform which brings all the stakeholders, because, because if you have seen in the Emilio slide we have presented, you need a lot of hands. It's almost like you need an entire village to raise a project. And so, so this is your village here that we are putting on chain for all of all the projects here. So till now, we have almost 40 investors who have signed up for this pl pl platform, around 100 mentors, and around 200 projects globally. Now, you might say, where have these projects come from? So for the past one and a half years, we have been running these hubs program, and these projects are from that funnel. Uh, around uh, half of them have come through BD, and half of them through hackathons. Uh, now, these are some of the well-known investors in the industry anyway who, are, who have signed up and showed interest for this platform. This platform has two models. One, we go with partners, well-known partners in the space, and then we have hubs that run their own accelerators. So till now, we are close to around 15 accelerators that are running parallelly on the, under this platform globally in close to 20 countries right now as we speak and accelerating different projects on ICP. Uh, and recently we signed up a very big fund out of Singapore, a $700 million fund, ABCD Capital. They are going to run some accelerators for ICP in the region. Uh, here is a very nice couple of press coverages that we have around this platform. The press has picked up very well because this is a very unique value prop that it adds. Now, now for any project, right, these are the very key part of it, when, when, when you talk about Web2 acceleration, because the industry is very settled, and, and, and the economic incentives in Web2 is very different from Web3, right? Mm. So, so normally, the pipeline is like 20%, 30% in Web2, but in Web3, it's almost like 60%. If your pipeline is good, then you get good projects. But, and mentoring is very less. Like, actually, acceleration and incubation is supposed to be mentoring, but in Web3, it's almost like 10%. All these accelerators don't put more than 10% effort in that. So what actually needs for projects to make them successful is if you are able to stakeholder, 
good do good network of stake, stakeholder engagement you have a good pipeline of projects really new innovative projects coming in from all the places in the world and and then you bring all these stakeholders who are there and put them into a feedback loop where all the rogue players are getting eliminated and all the good players are su supporting each other and that's how you create a symphony where you accelerate all these projects let me quickly do a comparison here the big one that i want to focus on is stakeholder credibility right as i spoke uh, earlier like right now what happens is it's it's very anecdotal like okay i know enzo enzo seems like a nice guy good looking guy and and he's very smart and he's very passionate so 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 yeah uh, i will recommend him to yan yan you should mentor enzo and and this is very nice or i will say shruti you should mentor enzo in, with communication and what not but enzo doesn't know if yan is good or not what's the credential of yan uh, and whatever right so 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 how do you build this platform in a way where all these people are constantly giving each other feedback and supporting each other in a, in a, in, a, in a trustless manner and and right now also uh, like 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 the, the acceleration of projects in a protocol almost happen outside the protocol and how do you integrate them into the community here how do you give opportunity to the community to participate in project acceleration right from the beginning which i mean like okay the project is ready they need initial testers where they will come from they come from the community and these communities are on this platform also uh, the entire funding model on olympus will be like the, when we go multi chain protocols don't have to give us money they just give us the pipeline and we put money so so that's the model that we are looking at over a period of time uh, again this is a very important criteria right right now earlier in the day people were talking about business models and what not so on this platform the projects get rated on these nine parameters if if a project is on olympus anybody who can read and write can decide and tell that how quickly this project can scale there is uh, these nine parameters are rated over nine levels over on the platform and so you can say like as an investor when do i come in like if you are at a level 1 you are not even investment ready probably you go to your friends and family and ask for fund or level 2 what level is because another mistake that happens in project acceleration specifically in web 3 everybody tells the project what to do but the role of accelerator is tell to tell what not to do because the founder already know what to do and that's the difference everybody is trying to patronize the founder like like hey do that do this but but the point is if you can tell the founder hey here is what where do you stand and this rating happens by your peers happens by your mentor happens by your, yourself so you can see oh i see on team my team is like 8 but my peers are seeing like like i am on 2 there must be some some issue right uh, and how do you fix that how do you how do you put everybody in this perpetual loop of feedback where 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 people are actually kind of getting support that they need because it's not like the projects are actually at the receiving end even the investors are suffering even the mentors are suffering and 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 so so that's the entire thing so so these are couple of key stakeholders on this platform uh, the projects as i said i have already spoken about the project projects gets multiple benefits uh, right from idea so so we run two types of acceleration program here on this platform one is idea to mvp and mvp to launch so uh, early stage projects uh, can come at idea level and, and, and late stage projects can come for launch program where they get support for token launches tokenomics listings and, and what not and also of course the business model and all and then investors anybody can sign up on this platform and get access to it but but the thing is uh in this platform we have coded it in a way if you are not an investor attached to so the, so the projects get a upper hand on this platform so projects can reach everybody but not everybody can reach the projects because we don't want projects to be poached like like imagine like you are the mentor for a project and you don't want some investors to come and just take your project away right so 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 we have ensured that talents so 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 the projects can also put out their job listings and what not and look for talent and of course the users are there to get access to early projects 
Uh, right now in our timeline, we are somewhere around uh, June, and we are perfectly matching our timeline. We have launched, we wanted to launch around five to 10 accelerators. We are at 15 accelerators right now. Uh, and by the end of this year, we see this uh, going multi-chain uh, and also becoming like a fund of own for the entire ecosystem. That's how we see this, not only for ICP. So this is the chain fusion dream of, from the acceleration point of view, where multiple projects that are building on, on the chain fusion narrative can be accelerated through this. Thank you very much. This was my time. <laughs>